I've been constantly asked when or whether I'm gonna remake a V doll as well. And I feel that those questions have noticeably increased since last November when I uploaded the Jimin video. So I figured finishing this doll should be my first priority. But then I really didn't expect it would take this long. <laughs> Actually, I already finished the first V doll last year, so it was well over a month ago. I considered filming season's greetings with him and the other members, but in the end I didn't because no matter how I look at his face, I don't feel like he qualifies enough to be Taehyung. However, instead of removing the makeup, I purchased another V doll. This time I wanted to make the doll's lower facial profile as perfect as Taehyung's, since I believed that it was not as similar. At first, I tried grinding his nose using sandpaper. Honestly, I wasn't so sure about it, but it really worked. So I had a go at his lips as well. Hmm. It seems like his profile got better, but somehow his full face got uglier. He's definitely another one. I tried to make up for that, but it seemed to only get worse. Since I heavily damaged the doll, I had to buy the third one. But it was a holiday week and there were nationwide shipping delays, so I just decided to make a shirt until mine arrived. I guess I already showed you similar scenes several times, so I just skipped them and introduced a new method that tried for the first time. When you've just finished making an oversized shirt, you'll find it too crisp and therefore a little bit ill-fitting. If that's the case, you can soak it in lukewarm water and then air dry on the doll. Adjust the collar and bend its arm so the sleeves can have natural drapes around the crook of the arms. And if you don't mind, take off the other clothes to prevent staining. Now it looks natural. I got my third doll. I decided to go a bit more professional this time. This picture shows how the nostrils of the doll are designed and the blue lines I'm making indicate how they should look in order to be V's perfect nose. From the side, this way. I will use this lottery tool with a tiny tip like this. I'm gonna enlarge its nostrils by grinding the side and front part. Ideally, they should look like this picture. I know it's impossible to make them just as similar as those of Taehyung, but at least I can make an improvement. Now it looks like grinding their chins has become a sort of a must-do. As for the time, it took about 6 hours in total for hair remover, nostril correction, and sandpapering. I think it's well done so far. After removing the stung makeup, I tried to develop from the first doll. Once I finished sketching, I decided to take the last of the day off because my hands began slightly trembling. And I fell asleep having my fingers crossed that the third one will finish successfully. What actually happened was, despite all the nose grinding and everything, it didn't go very well. Removing and re-repainting the eye makeup wasn't just enough. If I'm being totally honest, I really liked the eyebrows I had drawn on him and didn't want to erase them. Yes, I was trying to go easy and that can probably be the reason why. I've been usually doing repaints relying upon my instincts, but now I feel the need to try something new. That is, making all the V-dolls I painted comparable in a picture and see what made them so different. Looking at the picture, I felt like the up gaze to its right might be the best solution with this doll. So let me go for it again. This time, I also tried to use colored pencils more than lacquer paints because I felt as if I was being poisoned by continuous use of thinner. After repeating a series of pencil drawing, removing and spraying, I got this face. 
Oh, I was forgetting I had a bunch of pastel pencils too. Using two of them, I color his eyes and lips. Before lacquering, I'm gonna mix colors very attentively. Add drops of different colors to make a subtle color in a low chroma. And then paint white for the whites of his eyes and dusk pink for the water lines. And cloudy blue for his iris. Not to fair again, every stroke was carried out very carefully at slow tempo. Now you can use darker colors like smoky black or taupe for the eyelines and eyebrows. It's the dusky pink I used for his eyes and I'll mix red in it so I can use for his lips as well. Make a reddish brown by adding brown to the lip color and define his lip line with it. I feel like he looks great. Let's preserve his face using clear spray on it. How about an interim check? I mean, we can borrow the first guy styling just to imagine how he'll look in dressed hair and clothes. For your reference, this set of a business suit is mostly too huge for our slim dolls, so there are only a few items you can actually use. Good, he looks so nice in black. Alright, don't forget about contouring and blushing. Ta-da! Isn't it lovely? Now that his face is done, let's make new hair for him. He looked good in black, but I'd like his hair to get brighter. Since I already made a tutorial about how to make a wig, I'm gonna show you more in detail what's not in the video, that is, dyeing the roots. Koreans usually have black hair, so if someone gets his hair bleached, he will soon get black hair on his scalp. And then, to blur the sharp contrast, he might get his roots dyed in brown. This ombre star is popular among Korean idols. Anyway, I'll intentionally make the roots dark because I think that way his hair will look more natural. So, with a brown lacquer paint diluted in thinner, paint the upper part of yarn. Oops, this brush is too small. I need a flat brush. Apply thin coat several times. Hmm, this one seems too dark. Flip it over and apply again. After 5 hours of drying, they will look like this. I can feel some solid paint particles. Let me brush. I brought them on paper because the yarn ties were still wet. Can you see a difference? Now we need to straighten them using a flat iron. The more pigment they contain, the heavier and stiffer they feel. Then it works to brush those stiff yarn webs once again. And as you might already know, the next step is to spread glue over top of the yarn webs, then dry, flip them over, and glue and dry again. Now let's really bring him. I covered his face with thin felt to protect it from scratches and glue. For a perfect fit, I'll glue hair right on his head without clean lab underneath. It's kind of like you put hot glue as thin as possible on the tip of a hair piece and then attach it on his head. This is something that you might burn your hands while following, so I'm not gonna show you how to in this video. If you are a beginner in this hobby, please refer to the previous video. So, all the rows were filled with hair, except the hairline, uh, which has to be done with a super delicate touch. Rocky is better at this technique than I am, so he's doing this for me. Before seeing how his hair was finished, 
Let me complete the other pieces of his clothing. The white shirt I was making wasn't actually finished. I decided to make the outfit he was wearing at Melon Music Award 2017 thanks to the recommendation of Mochi Cookie Tail Lover. Thanks again, Mochi. So, I'll need dozens of those tiny studs, and I came up with the idea of going to a nail supply shop for shopping. I've never got my nails done at a nail shop, but well, for doling, why not? So, here they are. I picked up everything that I thought I'd need someday, so it cost a little more money than I expected. Anyway, among these, I'll use these nail stones of 1.2mm and also a brush type of nail glue to affix them. It was certainly very hard to pick up each stone with tweezers, taking over 5 hours to complete. While I'm at it, I wanna say thank you to those who've contributed to the community by making subtitle translations. Oh, one of the major changes made to YouTube is that looking below each video, the names of the contributors are automatically shown, so I can see who did it for us. And there have been so many people I missed. Evelyn Suarez, Shijus, and Gurin K-pop did the Portuguese subtitles, Jigo Kop and any BTS army also helped with the Spanish translations, and Leo Luna and Lifnis did the German ones, Shadi and a shy antisocial for French, Martina Shaul for Italian, Isna Heriliani Nugraha for Indonesian, Ya Murse for Turkish, an army for life for Latvian and Miski for Chinese. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you all. I can't believe there are so many of you donating your talent to the community. I also want to say thanks to others for many other reasons like leaving funny comments or sharing my videos but let me do this in my next few videos because we gotta finish this video. I bought this jeans from an online store cause getting this kind of fabric was not easy. I tightened in the waist by making darts and I also narrowed legs by sewing inwards from the existing lines. By the way, I've got a lot of comments and DMs asking where I bought certain things. But frankly speaking, as I normally use Korean stores, I don't think my answers will help unless you live in Korea. You can simply look it up on Amazon or eBay with keywords like 12 inch action figure plus more specific words like beanie jeans or microphone. We are almost there. Let's add some accessories. I put four earrings and one stud on his ears, with two of them extended with nail chains. He doesn't have individual fingers, so I cut a section from a ring and attached it to the top of his hand to look like it's on his finger. It seems like everything is ready for show. Let's go see V's. I really put my heart and soul into making the V dolls and on this video, just like I once mentioned in one of my recommends. It took the longest production time and I made the most corrections. I know I've kept you waiting so long, but I have some upcoming videos for you guys very soon. So, see you probably soon!